Hello my lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I have this for you. And this is Rose Bran Pork Brains. So I found this beautiful can of pork brains with milk gravy on our recent road trip that my family and I took down south. I just found this at the supermarket in South Carolina and I had to pick one up. And if you like these fun tasting videos, be sure to subscribe. All right, let's see what's inside this. So Rose Bran Pork Brains with milk gravy. I love the kind of retro graphic design on this. It looks very 1950s. And yep, yeah, it says pork brains with water, cornstarch, salt, and sodium nitrate. Oh, and milk, of course. And this is from North Carolina. Carolina friends, do let me know how this is served. I don't know if it's supposed to be served warm or what it's supposed to be accompanied with. I'm just gonna have it with crackers. I'm gonna have it right out of the tin. <coughs> nice crack. All right. Oh, there it is. It's a lot pinker than I expected. Somehow I thought the brains would be more white, but I don't know why I was thinking that. Hmm, doesn't smell bad. It smells like Vienna sausages, exactly. So there's a lot of broth in there. And let's pick them out. There's a piece. Look at that. That has a nice, you can see some of the convolutions and I'm forgetting all my anatomy. Anatomists, physiologists, biology friends, do let me know what the convolutions in the brain or the folds are called. I've already forgotten. Yeah. Oh, here's a good piece. Here's a nice big piece. All right, so there we are. There we have it, the pork brains. Let's just try a bite without the crackers first. Oh, look at inside, it's a little bit lighter in color. It's a little bit white. Let's see, is that true for all the pieces? Yes. Let's give that a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's good, I like it. Has a really great texture. Very smooth and creamy. The flavor is good too. And again, in a relative sense, it's similar to Vienna sausages or the kind of canned meat flavor. But I love that it's not overly salty. It kind of tastes a little bit like tin pate and has a beautifully smooth texture, similar to pate as well. It's great. It's better than Vienna sausages and certainly better than that deviled potted meat kind of products because it's not overly salty. Let's try it on a cracker. Mm. It's great, I love it. And it's also similar to pate in the sense that it has a slight livery flavor, not nearly as strong as pate, but it does finish a little bit livery. But I love it. Mm -hmm. This is my first taste of brains. I've never had them fresh or tinned, but I really, really like it. Delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. And I don't think it needs anything. I think you can just eat it like that or smear it on some bread with a little bit of lettuce and tomato and pepper, I think would be fantastic. A delicious brain sandwich. Mm-hmm. Rose pork brains with milk gravy. I think this is going to be my lunch. <laughs> So let me know your thoughts about pork brains or any brains for that matter, or oval or any kind of squishy bits, how you feel about it or what you think. Do you think it's frugal? Do you think it's gross? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>